Oregon Join Line! Hi everybody! This video will examine yard operations at Great Northern's Dayville Yard on the Oregon Joint Line layout. This will be the last Oregon Joint Line yard we'll look at in our series of yard operations videos. Great Northern train GWR to Dayville Yard. Dayville Yard. Yeah, we're coming up the hill to Oregon and Northeastern Crossing. Uh, what are your instructions? Okay, GWR, you can head them in at crossover three. Come on down track number one. Uh, give me a call when you get to the south end. Let's look at how Dayville Yard fits into the big picture for the Great Northern. Here's a map of the real Great Northern network, and here's my version, including the GN's trackage rights and the Oregon Joint Line, which forms a through route between the Pacific Northwest and Salt Lake City. Dayville Yard sits roughly halfway between Salt Lake City and Seattle. Train GWR to Dayville, we're coming up to the south end. Let's take a look at the current status of Dayville Yard. Train GWR is arriving on track one, and his outbound pickup of cars destined for Salt Lake City is on track two. Track three are Seattle bound cars, Track 4 and 5 have cars for the Northern Pacific and Oregon Northeastern, which will transfer to those railroads later. Track 6 has cars for the Great Northern Oregon Joint Line mixed train. And then Track 7 is for industry cars around the yard. GWR, you can set out your head 13 cars towards Track 6. You can leave them hang on the lead there to clear the 2-track. Your pickup is on 2-track, 16 cars. A dispatcher tells me it'll be a bit before you can get your helper arranged, so go ahead and tie on to that track two, make sure you're in the clear, and line back so the switcher will come out and uh, start switching on that set out you made. The Oregon Joint Line typically has only one helper crew on duty, and it's manned by the Northern Pacific. The Northern Pacific also dispatches the Oregon Joint Line, so when there's a conflict, it's usually the Great Northern trains that'll be waiting for helpers. Hi, Jerry. This is Dayville. How's it look to get a helper for that GWR? Yeah, that uh, helper's coming down the hill now. Uh, can I have him tie on your train there at Dayville Yard? Yeah, I'll bring him in through crossover four. Okay, he'll be next up the hill. Uh, here we go. Dayville did the GWR. That switch engine is out of your way. Okay to start pulling up. See that helper get by. Okay to go ahead and double to your outbound train on track one. Dayville, the helper. You can head him in at crossover four. Train is on track one at Dayville Yard. Helper to the GWR, we're ready to tie on the train. Okay to tie on, helper. While the GWR was departing, our switch engine got started on spotting and pulling the largest customer at Dayville, John Day Grain Growers. John Day Grain Growers and most of the customers in the greater Dayville Monument area are accessed by both the Great Northern and the Northern Pacific via reciprocal switch rights. What this means is that the Northern Pacific will pay Great Northern a set switching fee for cars going to customers located on the Great Northern and vice versa. This is a very typical arrangement for large terminal areas where multiple railroads converge. Dayville Yard to the Dayville Switcher, and you finish up there, okay to head for the house for beans. Great Northern Train QIG to the Dayville Yard, Master. We're coming down the hill at a snow line. What are your instructions? Dayville answering the QRG, head him into track one. You'll be setting your head 12 cars out to track two. While you're doing that, the switch engine will grab your caboose and tack it onto your six car pickup, uh, and then he'll put your train back together for you there on track one.
Arkansas Live Mix to Dayville. Dayville answering the mixed. Come through O and E Crossing, got 13 guys for you. All right, mixed. After you make your station stop, you can use crossover three into track one. Leave them at the south end. Power to the house. And watch out for the switch engine working the south end. Okay, will do. We'll fast forward a bit as the switch engine completes the switching of the QRG set out and then begins classifying the inbound mix train. switching at the yard, but the tracks four and five, which have cars for the Northern Pacific and Oregon and Northeastern railroads, are starting to fill up. So it's time we made a transfer to those railroads. Northern Pacific Monument Yard. Hi Frank, this is Dayville. Ready to make the transfer. We got 15 cars for you on the head end with the Oregon and Northeastern cars behind. Okay, I've got 15 for you as well. I'll get the tramp going. Uh, how about if we meet between Monument and Dayville? We'll take the main if you take the inside. Okay, that'll be the plan. Okay, Roger. Great Northern Dayville switch to Monument Yard. Monument Yard. We're leaving Dayville, headed your way. I got the tramp leaving off of track four. You can head down lead two. Uh, when he gets by you there, okay to pull on down through track nine. Set out your head 15 to track 2. Alright, run through 9, set out to 2. Roger. Scanlon Yard, we're leaving Monument with nine cars for you. Scanlon answering the GN, you can come against your outbound there on track three. Got ten cars for you. Go ahead and shove through three, you can run back through four. Dayville answering the Monument Tramp. You can bring him in, crossover three, track one, run back through track four. Crossover three, track one, run through track four. Dayville switch to Monument Yard. Headed back from Scanlon, do you have a runner for us? Monument answering the Dayville switch, okay to run through track nine. I've got the 7th Avenue job leaving off of track 5. You can follow him down the inside back to Dayville. Dayville switch to Dayville Yard. Leaving Monument.
monument with 10 cars headed down the inside. Okay, Dave Hill Switch, come on down track five. I'll meet you out front with new switch lists. Dave will answering the RWG. Coming down the hill, that's no line. What are your instructions? Okay, RWG, come on down to the south end. When you see that switch engine duck into track one, okay to bring them in. They can run through track five. Uh, set out your head 12 cars to track one. That switch engine will be clearing off track one, so watch yourself as you're shoving in. Yeah, that's correct. Your pickup will be on track three, about 10 cars. That switch engine is still adding cars to that pickup. We'll let you know when it's ready. Okay. Here's the current status of Dayville. We've got the switch engine switching the inbound transfer on the south end and the RWG making his set out on the north end, and then he'll be making his pickup off of track two. GN work train to Dayville, we're here. Do you have those hot cars ready for us? Dayville answering the work train. I don't have any information on you guys. Where, where are you at, and which direction are you headed, and what cars do you need to pick up? Yeah, we're southbound going through Monument, coming up to crossover three. Uh, should be two outfit cars for us there in your roundhouse. Okay, well, come on down to the south end. I've got both ends of the yard tied up right now, so it'll be a bit before I can work you in. Dave Hill, the train 66. 66? Yeah, I've got a work train I, I didn't know about that's sitting on the main, uh, so you guys are going to be blocked getting to the depot. Hold the passenger for the work train. Dave Hill. This is Northern Pacific Superintendent of Operations, George W. Thompson III. Did I hear you say that you're going to hold up a passenger train for your lowly work train? But... What kind of an operation are you running over there at the so-called Great Northern? But... You need to get that work train out of the way immediately. And when I say immediately, I mean right now. Hmm. I wonder, that guy in third shift is always throwing stuff away. Dave Hill to the work train. GN work train. Yeah, come on down to the south end and... No, stand by. Dave Hill. Hi there. This is Dwight Hamilton from Howard Fees. How are you today? I'm good, but can I call you back? Listen, my daughter is sick today, so I had to bring her to work with me to look after her because my wife is at the doctor's for a thyroid condition. My poor little girl is so tired, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind not running any trains for the next hour or so that, so that she can get some sleep. I know she'd feel much better with a little rest, but there was one time when she was younger and she had to get her tonsils taken out. I've really got to go, Mr. Hamilton. Dave Hill, the work train. When you see that switch engine shoving into track three, okay to back down into track one. Don't forget to line the main line switch back. Dave Hill, the train 66. As soon as that work train lines that switch back there at the north end, she's all yours on the main. Dave Hill to the RWG. RWG. When that 66 is done with the station stop, okay to use crossover three, pull down to clear the two switch. Got the switch engine tied onto your pickup. Now shove your train together. Follow number 66, through crossover three, clear the two switch, wait for the switch engine to shove us together. <sighs> yeah, that's correct. With the work train gone and the RWG departing, all that's left for the switch engine to do is to switch out the RWG's set out. Once he's accomplished that, he'll tie up. Then the second trick switch engine will come on duty and switch the customers down the industrial lead.
I hope you've enjoyed these videos highlighting yard operations on the Oregon Joint Line and you've picked up some ideas for your own yard operation. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oregon Joint Line!